You see this protest? Make on a no shoot anybody. Make on a no kill anybody. If not, it go turn to <laughs> another kilo. The one way happen for Kenya go be chance play. Because you know why I'm saying this thing, eh? One person, if one soul, one soul by in this uh, this protest, one soul by, you see that policeman that will be responsible for that soul. When light and light, I'm borrow, but I'm going to be a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little person go down, eh, that policeman responsible for that soul, eh, a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a My people, he don't say it like the youth of Nigeria are sending serious message and warning to our security agencies. Like the Ogudibo one of Niger Data has said that the protest will hold as planned. And they beg the police as well as the other uniformed men not to shoot at the protesters and also warn the intending protesters not to provoke the armed men. He, however, said that if the police or military kill any one of the protesters, Nigerians will understand the meaning of a hungry man is an angry man, that what happened in the Kenya will be a child play. So when the IG of police was talking about this protest, you know, urging Nigerians not to protest, like someone asked him, like, why did he already concluded that this protest is going to be violence? Why the protest has not even started? So these people have already concluded that this protest is going to be violence. But when you listen to Nigerians, they said they are going out there for peaceful protest. So why is this Tinubu administration so, so afraid of this protest? They are using any means eh, to make sure that this protest will not hold. But the Nigeria youth say enough is enough. Whether they like it or not to, like this protest must hold. My people, let me allow you guys so that you can listen to what they said here. My name is General Gabe Asabuja. Okay. The number one of Niger Delta, the only one. Well, I don't come back again, no. I don't come back. Before I would declare me one tech. You may be this one, a president or IG would declare me one tech. Now my work is now my business. Before I go say one tech. What I won't talk about now about this protest. You see this protest, first of August. <laughs> this protest goes strong. Go. You know why it goes strong? The hunger, hunger too much. The way things they cause, they increase, they too much. Check in Africa, Nigeria is the lowest. In Africa, Nigeria they come down. We they reduce. Instead of increasing in Africa, we they reduce. We they come down, we they reduce. In the whole Africa, a whole giant of Africa. Number one in Africa. Now we they reduce, we they last. This protest go shake, go, it go tough. So I use this opportunity. They tell government, federal government, they tell the military, the soldiers, police, army, DSS, make on a no shoot anybody, oh. no kill any civilian, and they draw hand for here. No shoot civilian. Because if I to kill any civilian, he go turn to another thing. A civilian, no fight any military man. Peaceful demonstration. No fight any military man. No go carry stick, go near any force man. No carry stone. No go do anything. Peaceful demonstration. Make on a no carry any arm. But if military go shoot any civilian, and I see what thing will happen for Kenya. Kenya na nursery school. Kenya na daycare. Kenya na primary. What thing happen for Kenya na primary? In Nigeria, it will be the worst. And I know. If I go kill any civilian, if you turn to another thing, it will be the highest crisis. It will be revolution. So I beg, I use this opportunity. No shoot any youth. No shoot youth. No shoot mama. No shoot papa. No shoot any young boy. Peaceful demonstration. We will kick up on 1st of August. Military no shoot anybody. And make anybody no fight military. Make anybody no shoot military, no go drag any gun with them. But military, if you go make mistake, kill civilian, 
<laughs> you go no say a hungry man is what angry man a hungry man is what angry man food no day the rate of poverty the rate of hardship the rate of everything is too much for nigeria no beside the ginger the protest no beside the support the protest make on us see you will be military where they send check them you will be army man policeman dss air force navy where they send check out the country they go with they die in hunger this they cost every day this they day expensive every day when we talk on i go say arrest them when we talk on i go say kill them when, I, when we talk on i say one third we no go talk again how we go there for river soap they enter our eye how we go there for water oceans soap with the peppers is it no wicked no be wickedness no be wickedness you know good now they hardship too much when I talk now, you know that one third, one third, you know, now, you, know, you don't turn to hobby. You don't turn to a right. You don't turn to hobby. One third, you don't turn to tradition. Tradition. To the government, to the police. Declare one third. Declare one third. Rather, people, they, they thief our money. They carry billion upon billion. They carry trillion upon trillion. You know, declare they one third. People, they busy. They work for politicians. They do dirty work, they kill people, they do rubbish, they carry dynamite, they go through, they need to declare them wanted. People they rubbish, they insult governors. Nobody they declare them wanted. Our own now, declare wanted, find them, arrest and kill them. If I not kill me, they talk, don't die. If you kill the messenger, they talk, still remain, they go. See fella and Nicola Koku to fella. Upon how many years will fella don't die? Fella music still they say. Fella topic still they grow. More and more. No be to kill who talk, make on a change, make we change, make we revive Nigeria, make we restore Nigeria. If we destroy Nigeria, where would the wrong go? No, where me I go wrong go, I too love Nigeria, I too like Nigeria, I let the wrong go anywhere. You see this protest, make on a no shoot anybody, make on a no kill anybody, if not, it go turn to <laughs> another kill. You know. The one way happen for Kenya, go be chance play. I beg, make her no shoot military. They force. If this hunger no reach you as a policeman, this hunger no reach you as a military man, why shoot? If you don't like yourself, shoot, kill civilian. When they kill civilian, you go free. Because now they kill us, they kill us like bed. They kill us like fly. They shoot us do any like we be not in honor. We be not in honor. No kill you. Civilian, no go fight military man. No go fight policeman. No go drag gun with them. No carry stick go near them. Do your peaceful demonstration with the kick up. My name is Ogidimbo One of Niger Delta. The Kore One with the kick up. The mask way of Niger Delta with the kick up. I need the ginger anybody. Now the hardship. Now the poverty. Now the ginger. I beg. The hardship not too much. You know how done on I go send people come kill me. You know how the government will come arrest me. No, no, hand work. I don't go stop to the talk. I don't go stop. Make on a change, so I go stop. Make on a withdraw from an on a evil, so I go stop. Make on a not drag anything with force man. The whole youth in Nigeria, wake up. Mama, papa, wake up. Make we go down Sarabako for road. If na DJ, carry. If na music, carry. If na Ugele boys, carry. If na sad, carry. Make we go dance for street. Tell them say a word is enough. Tell them say enough is enough. Tell them say the hardship done too much. Make we go dance for road. For complete 10 days, if we go ask Jara, we add. The poverty done too much. In the whole world that we pour pass. In the whole world we pour pass. And see oil. So many resources we get up. Why we no go talk? General Sabuja don't come back. Now in the talk. May God bless Nigeria. God bless Niger Delta. God bless River State. Thank you very much. Thank you. So uh, this one is a message to the ID of police. The ID of police, Federal Republic of Nigeria. This message is for you. You see this protest uh, coming up on the 1st of August, 2024. Do your job. Do your job. And uh, ensure that no police, your men, eh, ensure that they are not carrying life I mean, life. Uh, life uh, bullets you understand ensure they are not carrying life bullets 
Because you know why I'm saying this thing, eh? One person, if one soul, one soul buy in this uh, this protest, one soul buy, you see that policeman that will be responsible for that soul. One light to light, one borrow, but they will be she hard to dance, she will chuck borrow over she. Can I just go? One light to light, eh? Now I say the Allah. If one person, one person go down, eh? That policeman responsible for that soul, eh? Now I say the Allah. They will be she hard to dance, she will chuck borrow over she. You understand? So this one is a peaceful protest and it's for everybody. Because we all are in this mess together. Everybody there inside this mess together. So do your job. Do your job. Nigerians are not going out to tumble Nigeria. We are going to demand for our right to save us. To save you too. You cannot say your salary cannot pay your children's school fees. Cannot even buy you a bag of rice. Cannot even buy a bag of garlic. Cannot even buy a bag of semo. And you are a police officer. And you are a military man. You be Air Force. You be Navy. You be civil defense. You deserve this country. Rain go fall for your head. Sun, they shine. Now your head. Bandits, they come. Now you. Thief, they come. Now you. At the end of the day, you cannot even afford a bag of rice. Don't be shame to you. I swear on my life, if you try and say one person, go down under you. You be, now you be the highest. I don't say that you be the highest mumu. The highest mumu living on earth. But apart from saying the mumu, we we'll go mark your face. We'll find him. We'll find him. And what he did to that person, we'll do it to him. This is not 2020. You feel me now? Everybody is in this mess together. Nigerians are on going out to redeem to to save this country from from where this country has never been before. I'm telling you, travel out, go abroad and see Nigerians leaving Nigeria to go and become cleaners, to go and become a security man. I'm talking about barristers, lawyers, doctors leaving Nigeria to go to another man's country and be cleaners and be working in restaurants. All this is because Nigeria is in a mess. And who are responsible for this mess? You people, the politicians. And I believe you two officers, police officers and co. Eh? You two, you admit that this country is in a mess. You know, your salaries cannot do anything for you. Your salaries cannot do anything for you. That is why most of you people have engaged in crime activity, committing crime. Nobody is seeing it. Oh. Your salaries cannot do nothing for you. You have three children. You can't pay their school fees with your salary. And you are working as a police officer. And you are a military man. That is why most of them and find they, they go into crime, committing crime, committing crime. Now, Nigerians walk out the street to serve you, to redeem you, to save your family too. You will go there because of one, one, ten thousand, they will give you after. You carry if you do it, eh? See, at the town and now, every police and uh, soldier at, at the town and now. If you do them, if you do them, if one soul go down, they will mark your face. You go mark your face. And you see that soul go down, you you go give account of that soul. So do your job. It's a peaceful protest. We are not going out to tumble Nigeria. No. We are going to demand our right. We are suffering. Nigerians are suffering. You too, as a police officer, you are suffering. Your salary can do nothing for you. I bet you. You know. Every now and then, a policeman is arrested, caught in kidnapping a number robber. A soldier man is arrested, caught in this or that. A, a, a civil defense is caught in this. All because your salaries can do nothing in us in Nigeria. The country that you serve. The country that you are ready to give your blood for. So make sure as you are going out there. I see you people are 10 steps ahead. Hmm? Preparing ahead of something that is still 10 days old. You guys are already putting out these things to scare Nigerians from protesting. We are protesting. And I'm so pained. I'm ashamed of so many bloggers or so many of these, uh, what they call it, influencers that had 3 million, 4 million. All, all they know is content. This, this, this. It is now. To save Nigeria or never. So, IG of police, Nigeria security agencies, Nigeria youth, not even Nigeria youth, all Nigerians are saying is that they are going out there to peaceful protest, to tell the so-called leaders, like what is happening in Nigeria, they are not happy with it. That's all. That you people should come out there to protect them, not to shoot them. So, this is the direct message.
to our Nigeria security agency because since they have already concluded that this protest is going to be violent, I don't know where they get that idea from. So if it is in another country, security agencies are out there to protect the protesters, not to shoot them. So my people, that is it. I say make I bring this update to you guys to hear what Nigeria youth are saying concerning this upcoming protest. Because they said, well, no matter what this uh, administration is doing to, to prevent this protest, that this protest must surely hold. So I don't know what they think about what they said here. I would love you guys to leave your thoughts in the comment section as always. Please, if today is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share it as well. Thank you everyone for watching and I'm going to see you guys in my next update. Goodbye for now. Welcome to Jammer,